Hi, everybody. Where have I been? Well, I have been watching basketball. I love college basketball so much, but is it interfering with my sewing? Yes, it is. I will be bringing you February makes, I promise, but it's not going to be some outlandish number of garments, like 15 things or anything like that. And I made that coat and it didn't fit me very well and so I just took a little hiatus after that and didn't start sewing for my makes until later in the month, even later than in January. So I really need to get these things, time management under control. Now, I'm not Catholic, but for Lent, I have decided to stop biting my nails, stop eating chocolate, stop any frozen treats, so that means no more Italian ice, stop eating chocolate and stop eating candy. All of this is going to do me some good. It is only the second day. I'm still feeling really strong. So check back with me in about a week. Here's a tip. I sprayed this all over my brown rayon tencel dress that I am working on. See how it's called faultless? <laughs> I blame it for leaving little marks, little spray dots all over my fabric. I took a wet sponge and tried to sponge them off and that made it look even worse. So I read the back of it. Doesn't have any warning not to use on certain fabrics but I'm gonna steer you away from this if you're using any kind of rayon tencel because it stains it. And my brown color is light enough for it to show up. Will I wear the dress with all the little stains on it? Yes, I will. Uh, dresses that I'm wearing, this is one right now, 6748, new look. I loved sewing this dress. I loved the way that they have the uh, neck facing in the front, and it's a highly recommended pattern. It is out of print. I went to Joanne for a pattern sale, and I picked up another piece of their Vintage Simplicity cotton. I find these prints utterly irresistible as well may you you may as well and what i'm gonna make with them i am not sure but they were 40 percent off which made that 721 a yard that's more than i pay usually and certainly for cotton but this is really beautiful cotton and it is made in Korea. So I think that's a sign of quality. Now, thanks for all your feedback about going to Italy. There was not one person who said, stay home from Italy and sit in your house. Not one. Every single one of you said, go, go, get on that plane and go. So, of course, it is great family excitement and everyone's a buzz. Are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going to stay? What airport are you flying into? All of that. So, I think that we can't not go. I will be heavily sedated and that is fine with me. Now, I do think that this fabric has to be the wedding guest dress fabric that I wear. It is that glorious Shantung from Fabric Mart. Being a Shantung, it is crisp. It is not super drapey. 
The colors could not be more glorious if you ask me. So I'm gonna show you some patterns that I've picked out, some ideas that I have, and just sort of get your feedback. The wedding is taking place in early July, so there's plenty of time to sew. First, I thought that maybe I could do a little short top and pair it with this fancy skirt pattern that I ordered a long time ago. It was gonna be for another event that just didn't come through. So I thought, well, what about the idea of separates? What do you think? Top, short top, crop top, no stomach showing, and a fancy skirt. All right, that's the first, first one that I had in mind. Second one in mind is view C, there at the bottom. A two-tiered ruffled sleeveless dress in this, in this, okay? Two-tiered ruffle sleeveless, you see. Another choice, they all fell on the floor. Another choice includes a ruffle. It's a vintage pattern, 8789 Simplicity. And I believe I would do the green version. So I wouldn't do the maxi, but that would look gorgeous. I'm going to show you some new shoes I got that are making me so excited. I think I have to wear them to the wedding too. This is like, um, you know, a wiggle dress. And the one I like is the tiniest one on the front. Not the blue, not the brown, but the red. Okay? You see that? I have to check. That little red simple dress, but you know it is a potent fabric. So I want something where the fabric is just going to be pow. And can you get any more pow than this? Now, I still have some other really pretty fancies over there from Millie and whatnot. All right, this is, um, I'll list all of these by numbers if I have forgotten to say the numbers. I'm sure I have. New look 6723, and I was thinking of that blue dress with the three-quarter sleeve or the sleeveless dress. This is what I would call a classic dress. We have a waist seam, and I guess I'd have to get kind of a full slip to wear underneath because I would want it to poof out a bit. I think that is gorgeous. Classic styled dress. Then this is an oldie. This is a Vogue Calvin Klein pattern. And I thought that maybe I could do a sheath dress like this that is very, very plain. And hello, <laughs> I wanna make sure it's on the screen. Um, very plain and it would let the fabric shine. This is an easy sew and you can do a lining. Yes, in fact, they recommend lining. So that's an old Vogue from, can I see? 1991. That's from 1991, a simple sheath. This one I picked up, it's a new pattern by Vogue and it is a Sandra Betzina jumpsuit. I would not make it in sequined fabric. And being, you know, I'd make it in this, but being a jumpsuit, I don't know if that is dressy enough. I sure do love the lines on this thing. And you can put pockets in it. Oh, you know what? This might not be in the running. This calls for stretch fabrics and it's a pull-on jumpsuit. So perhaps not on the jumpsuit. I do have a really cute jumpsuit pattern that has ties at the shoulder. So I'll have to check with my sister and see just how dressy or casual we can go. The invitation says cocktail. 
cocktail attire. So now, before I leave you to go watch more basketball, <laughs> I'm sewing today. I'm working on two things. I'm making a little red sweater to go with a 1967 dress that I finished last night. And I'm very excited to show that to you. And I'm also sewing my dra brown dress that is all spotted, spotted with faultless spray. But I'm gonna go get Brad because I think we need a quick sew pick to liven up the weekend that is fast approaching. So hang on, we'll be right back with him. Hey, while we're waiting for Brad, I wanted to go and get my new shoes and show them to you. Look at these, would you? These are Ann Taylor Loft, and they've got these, you know, I don't, I don't even know what that is. It's just like tulle almost, cut out in the shape of petals. So they got a little bit squashed in transit. There's two of them and I think they're supposed to look like flowers. I don't even care that they got squashed because I think they're so gorgeous and they're very quality. They've got a leather sole. She said she wore them once or something and I got them for, I don't know, 20 bucks. So I'm pretty thrilled about those and I might wear them to the, to the wedding where there is going to be dancing under the stars ah! it's take the wedding is taking place in this little town called otranto and it is very very south very far south so if we fly into rome i believe we have a seven hour trip to otranto and then it's just a little bit further from there where the fiance's family lives so you can imagine that our family is very excited about this. Um, Brad, are you ready? All right, welcome to the segment of our program that we call the Brad Slick Quick Pick. All right. How do you like that name? Great I came, to be here. How, how do you like that name I came up with? I like it. See, because you're gonna pick. It's pretty slick. Well, it is slick, but you're going to pick a quick sew. That's where quick comes from. Oh, it's K-W-I-K. Yes, it is. Now, what I've done is I have put a whole bunch of quick sews in this bag. So I tried to stand them up. Um, and I'm sorry to say I didn't, I didn't put any men's in. Oh, and I, I, I No, come back. <laughs> I, I culled, culled out the winter stuff. Meaning there is no winter stuff? There's no winter stuff. Winter? Because, yeah, I wanna, I wanna move on to yeah. spring. Don't we all? So you can't see in there, okay? Okay. And you just have to really try and go back and forth. So some of them are lying down, some of them. On the bottom. Don't look. Are you looking? Don't, don't, don't look. This is highly, Go with. Important. What is it? Oh, that's cute. It's a little summer shift. This is quick sew pattern. Can you read that number right there? 2982. 2982. Boy, is that going to be nice and easy. Me likey. <laughs> Me likey easy. Yay. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm going to be working on this. a highly this. skilled selection, I would say. <laughs> okay, sit up really tall so that I look smaller. Okay. Remember when we would go to Olin Mills? Oh, gosh. And we'd have those family... Please don't mention traumatic experiences in my past. We, we would have those family <laughs> pictures taken, and he the, the photographer would always make you squat oh yeah or have you balance on the edge of a box or something it was so weird he always wanted you to be shorter yeah the one time he had me standing behind everyone with my legs like five feet apart yes so, so that you my were head was lower so then <laughs> I looked you just, like a big head yeah then you just look like a big head oh my gosh 
Is are they still around? I doubt it. Okay. That is gonna do it for us today. Um, there's a lot of basketball coming up and gosh knows March Madness is around the corner. So I can't promise too, too, too much sewing in March, but I will do my best. You gonna be on the bubble? Or are you off is the Virginia bubble? on the bubble? I think Virginia's in. Virginia's in. And you know, I'm Joe sorry. I am crazy with all that bracketology stuff. I am sorry if you're a Duke fan, but when Arizona, was it Arizona? Or Arkansas. No, no. Um, none of the above. Dang on it. Who was it? Wake Forest. Wake Forest. When Wake Forest beat Duke, I'm telling you what, there was some screaming going on around here. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry if you're a Duke fan, but it was just, it was nice to see Wake Forest take the win. All right. Enough blibber blabber. Talk to you soon. Go Wahoos. Oh, and come back Monday because that's when I'm going to have February makes. And he's going to be in it too. See you then. It's not in my contract. I'm yes, it is in your contract. Bye. Bye-bye.